<laughs> nice. Hi Rita, hi Bob, good to see you both, thanks for joining. What's unusual about it Bob, the fact that it's a parking structure? Hi, Paula. Ah, uh, yes, one of the cool things about Disneyland is that you can get a hotel right across the street and just walk right over to the parks. Of course, you can do that if you stay in the big hotels at, uh, well, Disney World, too, but still. This will serve as our final boarding call, folks. Final boarding call. Yeah, Rita, you're going to see a lot of differences and a lot of similarities. At this time, there will be no more boarding. If you have not crossed over that yellow line, please do not do so. Another trip will be here shortly. Once again, no more boarding. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is now ready to hey, take off and the Hey, Jay. Hey, Dora. You are clear. All right, here we go. For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed. I'm excited, excited for you, Diana. Absolutely, Rita. Any true Disney fan should come out to Disneyland at least once. We're now en route to the Disneyland Resort main entrance plaza, gateway to Disneyland Park, Disney California Adventure Park, and the downtown Disney
Oh yes, Rita, you definitely want to wait. Please lower your step as you exit to the driver's left hand side and the driver's left hand side only. You don't want to bring a one year old to Disneyland? Hey, there's our crying child. Welcome to Disneyland. For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the train is moving. And supervise your children. <coughs> Hey Rita, I just went to Disney World in January. First time in 12 years. It was a good time. You talking about the temperature, Bob? Right now it's in the 60s here, so. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. <clears throat> For some reason, I got something in my throat causing me to cough here. All right, so are you gonna go with me in the park? Or are you, you, you okay? I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna counter stream you. No, but you could stream for uh, you could record something for uh, later use something that we can't get signal in all right sorry about that had to stop for a moment well myro this uh this area that we're in right now used to be the parking lot. Back before they built California Adventure. So you have you have Disneyland here. You can see the entrance there. You should be able to see the train. Well, kind of. But anyway, that's the entrance of Disneyland. And then if I turn over here, and there's the entrance to Disney California Adventure. So we have a little bit longer of a walk, but our parks are right next to each other. So, and as far as your question about bag check, bag check at Disneyland uh, is back um, in the parking structure. I went through it right before I went live. And, uh, I did that so that you guys wouldn't have to worry about it. Plus, they kind of freak out if you videotape the security. So, now if you're entering from the other side uh, of, of Disneyland, you're coming in from Harbor Boulevard, you'll be coming in from over there. Whoop. Monorail. All right. So like I said, you'll be coming in from over there, and if you look right over there, that's security on the other side. So if you come in from the east side, um, then you are uh, you're going to go through security, and you'll be right at the entrance to the park. But uh, if you come in here from the west side, which is where I came in, um, then you will 
go through security well before you get to the parks. So um, your question about um, Paradise Pier, Paradise Pier is probably a half mile walk from uh, from the entrance of Disneyland. Not too long a walk. Hi, how you doing? Fine, how are you? Good. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. So here we are, and welcome to Disneyland. There you go. The west side is the resort side. Nice timing on that balloon, thank you very much. So somebody asked what I was streaming with. Um, I'm using a uh, an iPhone with a uh, with an Osmo gimbal to uh, keep the video steady. I'm kind of just hanging out here for a second because I'd like to get a little bit of video of the train coming in to the station. Let's walk to the other side here. Here, I'll, uh, let's see if I can. All right, we'll do that. This ought to be fun. the uh, Disneyland Railroad announcement. So that means that the train is coming in. Here it comes. So let's walk into Disneyland. That's correct, Disneyland is a much smaller place. So the last time we were here at Disneyland, I gave you a full-on tour of Disneyland's Main Street at sunset. It is uh, coming up on sunset again. It's just a little earlier. There's still a little light, but, uh, but it's cloudy, so we're getting some interesting lighting today. But we'll walk down Main Street and this time we'll pass the end of Main Street. We'll 
we'll take a look around. So one of the first things your Walt Disney World people will notice is that at the end of Main Street, there's a very small castle. Sleeping Beauty's castle is about half the height or so of uh, the one at Walt Disney World. Yep. Those are beautiful windows there. Now, as you guys can uh, can see, a lot of people are walking around in shorts and t-shirts and that sort of thing. It is it is not cold out here at Disneyland at all. Uh, it's not hot, but uh, the temperatures here, the humidity allows us to wear shorts and t-shirts nearly all year round. Yeah, they do, uh, they do do projections on the buildings of Main Street during the fireworks. And we have a brand new fireworks show that is debuting next Friday, Friday the 13th. And uh, that will also include lasers, projections, and otherwise. I'm going to slide right past you here. There we go. Everybody say hi to Ralph. Ralph. And Mickey. Oh Hi, Mike. Yeah. All right. Those were. We have our Tomorrowland. Disneyland for Sam's. Nope, as we said, Disneyland is a much smaller place than the Magic Kingdom. Everything is much closer together. Makes it a lot of fun to just walk around. You can go from place to place very, very quickly. Quaint is the word we use for it, Sharon. I agree with you. So Fantasyland is a uh, is a land here of a bunch of different rides and very bad cell signal. Angela, no, Disneyland is not a one-day visit kind of place. Uh, it is. Probably, I would say at this point, three days. 
uh, because you have Disneyland, Disney California Adventure, and uh, then all of the things you weren't able to do on the first day. You're welcome. Thank you for watching from Pennsylvania. And as we walk in here on our right, the place where everybody goes, Peter Pan's flight. Peter Pan's flight has the longest line in Fantasyland. See, there are lots of people here, some agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. right there. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, looks like uh, actually the line here for Peter Pan isn't too long. It just says 30 minutes. So that's not bad at all. King Arthur Carousel there. And then immediately across from Peter Pan's flight is Snow White's Scary Adventures. Now let's look up here. Look up in that window right above the entrance. What have we there? How you doing? Good. Have you been on Snow White yesterday? Well, I'll have to wait. Don't you bother? About 10 to 15 minutes. I haven't been on it yet. You haven't? Would you no. like to write it? Huh? Would you like to write it? I would love to write it. Alright, just follow me. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Oh, very nice. Let's let the other guests back out here. No worries. Thank you. Fabulous. They're skipping the line, folks.
live happily ever after. Show to eleven. Thank you very much. Well, that was very nice of that cast member to pop us in there. Never realized just how dark that ride is until you uh, ride it with a camera. There we go. You see her walk me in there? She walked me in the back. Walked me in the exit. I'm like, wow, thanks. Okay, so here we have Pinocchio's Daring Journey. And up there, we have Pinocchio. the line for Pinocchio do you can you see <laughs> right, we're checking out what we're gonna do next here just let you guys look around while we're doing that my row uh, never been on what What's it say? Oh, you didn't? Alright. I figured you were going to look at the app. So what we have here is, uh, this is where our, where our Dumbo ride is. Thank you. Uh, Dumbo currently is back behind these walls as they are increasing the queue area and covering it with uh, shade so that people can uh, can stand in line without getting sunburned as much so this will be a welcome sight for a lot of you east coasters this is toad hall home of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, which we still have out here. You guys want to ride that one? Calvin Lynn Bateman says to tell you a hi. Hi. There you go. So should we stand in line and ride uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride? Lynn says yes. Oh, everybody says yes. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and do that then. All right. Mike says, "Do it." You know, honestly, the line doesn't look too long. Unlike Walt Disney World, there is no fast pass uh, accessibility at all in Fantasyland. So there, there is no way, like when Jen goes on these rides and whatever, she's always getting on the app and getting the fast passes so that you guys don't need to wait in line. But uh, here at Disneyland, that is not an option. back a long long time ago there was uh, such a thing or no such thing as fast pass 
And so when people came out to Disneyland, they got in line for rides, and they just stood there and waited until it was their turn, and then they rode the rides. And with that concept in mind, the Disney Imagineers created queues that were almost as interesting as the ride themselves. And so when you stand around in a queue for Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, you have beautiful plants to look at. You have all the scenery around Fantasyland, and, uh, well, you have some good music to listen to. And once we get up there, there will be some things, some carvings, and things on the walls that we can enjoy. But the, uh, the idea of standing in line has, uh, with the advent of Fast Pass, has become a very unpopular thing. It's, uh, people no longer have the patience to stand in line and wait for attractions. And so what ends up happening is, is the Imagineers designed beautiful queues, like for the Indiana Jones adventure. Uh, Indiana Jones adventure and others, uh, where now when you go in, it, they hold you outside the building and let the fast pass people in and then they let the regular people in on top of that and so you're running by all of this wonderful detail and concept design that the imagineers have provided for your entertainment while you're waiting in line it's really a shame especially at Indiana Jones Temple of the Forbidden Eye because they're throughout the queue there's there's maraglyphics all over all the walls and it used to be that they would hand out like business cards that had the translator on them and you would stand there in line and part of your time in line was spent trying to figure out what was being said on the walls now, real quick here we'll get a view of Monstro off there in the distance Monstro the Whale from Pinocchio. <laughs> no Liz, no Butterbeer here at Disney. Calvin will be taking you guys to uh, Universal Hollywood here soon. And uh, you'll get a chance to, uh, to see all of that Harry Potter stuff. So, interesting thing of note, this planter right here with this tree, uh, back a number of years ago, uh, there was an attraction here at Disneyland called Skyway. And the Skyway went from Tomorrowland to Fantasyland. And so, they needed to support the cables, and one of the supports came down right here in this planter. Well, I was here one day, and I noticed that not only were the sky buckets not running, uh, but the cable was gone from the ride. And the next day when I came into the park, I noticed that this entire area had been taken out. The pole, the probably 90 foot pole, 100 foot pole, had been removed overnight because they were no longer going to have that attraction here at the park. So as I said, we have fun details here. We're, we're starting to get to some of the things that we can look at. Liz, I love the Skyway as well. It's one of my favorite things to do. There's Toad himself. And Mr. Rat. All right. So yeah, it just goes to show that for, you know, from one day to another, this can go from supporting one attraction and uh, you know, just being utilitarian to being a planter with a tree and, uh, and beautiful plants. And the people that came in the second day never knew what had happened on the first one.
we're going to get our first glimpse inside the building here in a minute. We're going to look through a window. noticing that crane off there in the distance. Uh, that crane is uh, sticking out of what will eventually be Galaxy's Edge here at Disneyland. Uh, Star Wars Land as it is called. Um, Galaxy's Edge is going to be back behind the Frontierland section of the park and uh, will be accessible through three different entrance ways. Uh, two of them will be uh, available on the, the Big Thunder Trail. And then the third one will be accessible through Critter Country, right by Winnie the Pooh. Streaming video like this is very different for me as I've spent the last 13 years hosting the Window to the Magic podcast, uh, which is an audio-only podcast into the wonderful world of the Disney theme parks. And uh, so most of the time I'm only concerned about what you're hearing, not what you're seeing. So getting to... Uh, Getting to start streaming for Streaming the Magic is, uh, is a lot of fun for me because it adds a whole new dimension to the, uh, the world of sharing the fun of Disney with all of you. Oh, there goes the carousel. Kelly, you've ridden jingles. Very cool. All right, here we go, folks. We are about to enter Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. That's good. Welcome to Toad Sure, a safe and glorious drive you own. Remain firmly seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. Watch your children and do try to drive more carefully than told. Set up. We have been to a golf course. Watch your second gun. Por favor, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del vehículo. Y por favor, cuide a los pequeños. Esperamos que los niños de la casa. Yeah, me too. I believe that Bodhi is touching the wooden arm now. 
enjoy your safety and the event. Please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet and legs inside and do supervise your toe. Have a job with your So when you look at the board again, para disfrutar de un paseo seguro, por favor permanezca sentado y no tenga las manos, brazos y escupiendo de todo el mundo. So can you guys see in here, or is it like as dark as it appears on my screen? I'm never sure, because sometimes the screen darkens when your messages come up. Ooh. Blurry, sorry. Ensure a safe and glorious drive in your Remain firmly seated with your hands, arms, Okay, so it's dark, but inside. you can still see it. Watch your children, and do try to drive more carefully than total. Tata. Be a bit more at all, Tom. Para su seguridad, por favor, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, y las piernas dentro de mí. Y por favor, cuidamos de ti. Esperamos que disfruten del paseo. All right, fingers crossed. Looks like we're going to get into Cyril. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. And we're in. Let me know when you guys have got me back again. Stay there? Okay. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Have a good day. Look at that. They gave me the gold chain treatment. Not sure what that is. But that's fun. All right. So you guys all have me back now? Am I am I back with you? Okay, good. So as we walk along here, we're gonna walk down towards teacups and also the Storybook Land canal boats. Oh yeah, Holly.
Right. I'm going to my own just a minute. Lynn, the Storybook Land Canal Boats is a, uh, a slow-moving boat ride through the stories of uh, Fantasyland. Uh, you know, all of the different uh, stories that Walt is famous for. If you want, um, we can try to get in line for it. Okay. So, let's take a look here. Like Myro was asking for. So this is Storybook Land. And you get on these boats, and the cast member tells you a whale of a tail. <laughs> Just saw a little hiccup there. I hope you guys have still got me uh, good here on the signal. Looks like uh, Storybook Land Canal Boats is, uh, looks like it's closed. Do they have different boats here? We don't know. Oh no, okay. Let's, uh...
It looks like they've just re, uh, reworked the main entrance. Out from the distance there, just barely you can see it's a small world. It's, it's definitely when we're streaming it would be, uh, be a good idea if we could have fast pass but unfortunately it's not really an option Hi Deb, good to see you. Or, good to see that you're here. I can't see you. Glad you're enjoying the Disneyland streaming. My son and I have always been particular about uh, preferring Disneyland. And uh, so when we started our podcast back in 2005, we, uh, we knew that we were going to feature Disneyland primarily. And uh, so when the opportunity came up to feature Disneyland for streaming the magic, well, we jumped on it. get to check out the new stickers that they put on the side of that one I believe that orange is the Incredibles Kidding. There is a monorail approaching. It's just winding its way around Fantasyland right now, and then here it comes. We'll be here. There you go. There's Frozone. There you go. 
so sorry about the wait time folks but like I said here at Disneyland if you want to ride the rides yeah here here at Disneyland the uh, the monorail actually started as an attraction it was not a form of transportation when it opened in 1959 it began and ended in Tomorrowland there was one station and it never left the park however once the Rather Corporation built the Disneyland Hotel over across West Street from Disneyland uh, Park then they decided that it might be worth it to extend the monorail out to the hotel and put a second monorail station there so that guests staying at the hotel could enjoy the perk of being able to board a monorail right at the hotel and enter Disneyland. It was also a great way for guests to get from Tomorrowland to the hotel to enjoy dinner or a drink and then they could return back to Disneyland once they were done without having to like otherwise you would have had to have gone out gotten on a tram taken it through the parking lot gone out across west street over to the disneyland hotel and gotten off the tram that was the other alternative so building that monorail extension was a great help and uh, it, it benefited the guest experience a whole lot Thank you, Wendy. Uh, Kelly, Calvin is here. Uh, when I got in line for um, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, he ducked out. And I'm not sure whether he is currently recording something for you guys to, to see at a later date or whether he is just uh, out hanging around and uh, having a good time on his own. Grad nights are, are both good and bad. Um, they are busy, but Disneyland is busy on a regular basis nowadays, so it's not like it really makes a difference. It's just different guests. But the, the one plus about uh, the grad nights is, is that the kids do all go over to California Adventure uh, after a certain hour, and uh, so that leaves Disneyland for the adults and the regular day guests. So... Take it as you will. with you, you know, if I had to choose between grad nights and uh, the cheerleader competitions, I would choose the grad nights to, to come out because uh, the cheerleader competitions are much more annoying than, uh, than grad nights. So. But then again, your magic may vary.
Looks like Casey Jr. is headed this way. Here's something we haven't seen yet. There he is. Can't see him really well, but there he is. Calvin took you on Casey Jr. Circus Train on his first stream uh, for streaming the magic. So if you missed it, go back. Sparkly ears that the girls are wearing are uh, reminding me of Jen. that we're currently in line for is the Storybook Land Canal Boats at Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Hey, I'll just bump the gimbal into the pole there as I walk forward. That's great. Casey again, this time closer. Hello Australia, good to see you. Welcome to Disneyland. So once we get onto the boat, I will not be talking uh, as uh, to be courteous to our guests the other guests in the boat with me.
You know, it's funny, I was just uh, sitting here and I was wondering how Calvin is going to find me once uh, he wants to meet back up again, and then I realized he knows exactly where I am uh, about 15 seconds in the past uh, just by looking at the stream. <laughs> oh, silly me. Thank you. Where you want me? Uh, let's have you right on that side. All right, over there. Yeah. Okay. Can I, can I sit there? Thank you very much. Oh. Uh, he has that permission for my kids. Not be. That good? Um. So they don't want to be like videotape if we're gonna be recording. Oh no, no problem. So you know, just to let you guys. No problem. Know. Just taking pictures. Okay. Thank you. Uh, just take Oh, sure. You're welcome. Everybody on my side, watch your arms, hands, and fingers. They're in his video right now. Nope. No, just pictures. Yeah, but you're still in your pictures. I'm not giving you the right Oh, no. Thing. When I take a picture, I'll lift it up. I promise you won't be in them. Before we depart on our journey, I'd like to remind you all, please keep those arms, hands, and fingers inside the boat at all times. And parents, please be supervise your children. We would not want any unexpected turns during our journey. Now, many people like to travel to enchanted worlds through the pages of the book. However, in person, the possibilities can be endless. And like right now, it appears that we are being swallowed by a monster the whale, but in actuality, we are being transported into a magical, mystical land, a land that I like to call Storybook Land! Yay! 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 <laughs> Yay! I like it. Like many of our stories here in Storybook Land, ours begins with a once upon a time. There was a big man who lived in a cave just right here to my left over here, and he was constantly chasing after the three little pigs who lived in these three little houses to my right. One made of straw, one made of sticks, one made of guaranteed waterproof bricks. And as we make our strange turn, we are taken to a quaint English village where Alice chased the white rabbit down the rabbit hole, and she fell down, down, down into Wonderland, a place where she only discovered things with the and curious and And over on my right is a wonderful park where Peter Pan and the Darling Children flew together on their first flight to Neverland. And up ahead is Agrabah, city of mystery and enchantment, where a young street rat named Aladdin bumped into Princess Jasmine one day in the marketplace and not only stole an apple, but also stole her heart. With the power of love and the powers of the genie of the lamp, the two became married and live in the Sultan's palace to this day. There certainly is much beauty and light here at Storybook Land, just like the twinkling lights above us here in these archways. In fact, these are the same exact archways that Aladdin and Jasmine flew up, down, and under in, on their first magic carpet ride into a whole new world. However, as much light as there is, there is enough darkness here in Storybook Land. And coming up ahead is the mystical cave of wonders, where its treasures are cursed and can only be contained by the genie of the land. Legend has it, one who brings the genie from the lamp will be granted three whole wishes. Everyone make a wish. And right here to my right is where Snow White wished for safe shelter away from the evil queen. And she came across this beautiful cottage deep in the woods where she finds seven dwarves and they welcomed her with kindness because of how kind she was. And 
if you listen closely, you just might be able to hear them singing and whistling as they work down in the mines. And Cinderella wished to go to the ball, but was forbade by her wicked stepmother. But with the help of her fairy godmother, her wish was granted. But when she didn't leave before the stroke of midnight, her coach turned back into a pumpkin, which can still be seen atop of the bridge. Though, ha though magic has its limitations, love does not. And Cinderella reached her happily ever after, becoming married to the prince. Such a lovely story. Dreams certainly can come true. Dreams are what inspire many of the stories that we all know and love. And just right here on my left is a beautiful pool of flowers. And these flowers were actually inspired by the 1933 silly symphony cartoon called Lullaby Land. Many of the stories here in Storybook Land were inspired by stories of the past and continue to inspire stories of the future. Which is why this was one of Walt Disney's favorite attractions back when the park originally opened in 1955. And one of those classic tales coming up ahead beyond the bridge is Wind in the Willow, where we find Walt, Rat, and Mr. Toad himself over at Mr. Toad's Stately Manor. However, if you were to knock on the door right now, you wouldn't get an answer because he is off in his car on a wild ride to nowhere in particular. And up ahead is the beautiful kingdom of Arendelle, where Anna and Elsa discovered there is something much more powerful than a snowstorm, the power of love itself. And over here in the Alpine Mountain, Geppetto wished upon a star to turn Pinocchio into a real boy. And when Pinocchio saved him from Monstro the Whale, the Blue Fairy granted Geppetto that wish into, yes, a real boy. And Ariel, who lived deep down under the sea, made a wish to become part of our world and live with her love interest, Prince Eric, in his castle, which is just to my right. Ariel wanted to escape the shadow of her father, King Triton, ruler of the underwater city of Atlantica, which is just beyond this waterfall. So there you go everyone, that is uh, the first part of my journey here at uh, Disneyland this evening. Uh, while I was on that ride I got a notification that my phone is uh, down to 20% battery power and so I am going to uh, have to kill the stream here and charge my phone. Uh, we have a cable coming which is going to allow me to charge the phone uh, off of the gimbal, and uh, so that will allow me to stream further in uh, in the future. But uh, so for now, uh, goodbye from Disneyland. I will uh, I will go live again here at some point this evening. I am pretty sure of it, so don't hold me to it. But uh, but I will do my best. Okay, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If uh, if you want to hear some of this uh, fun stuff. 
uh, just just go over and uh, and check out windowtothemagic.com. We have lots of 3D audio ride-throughs and uh, walkthroughs of the park. We've been doing it for 13 years. So for now, goodbye from Disneyland. We'll see you soon. <laughs> we'll see you real soon.